Well, hell, sunshine. Uh, we're still having fun today with old Ruth, the test mule. If you get that reference, let me know. Put it down there in the comments if you know who Ruth was. Anyhow, the old test mule. We're getting ready to put this meteor cylinder on there. I'm going to pretend like I haven't done it already. Uh, and we're going to get dyno results on it. And we're going to get uh, timing numbers on it. Uh, now, Ryan at Wolf Creek Saw Shop sent, sent me a highway, a meteor, and a new west big bore. I called him to order them. Told him I was what I was doing. And uh, I wanted a big bore and just whichever cylinder he thought was best. He graciously sent me all three of them and said, just, just have a big time. Um, and offered if I needed any more that he can do, if he can help the channel out, he would. So guys, uh, if, if you have a mind to order, a, a, you, you might consider Ryan at Wolf Creek Saw Shop as a supplier. Um, real good dude, real good dude. Um, helps a lot of us uh, saw builders out. Uh, I'm happy to be in the company. Uh, now I digress, enough of that. I'm not selling myself out, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Um, I hope I'm not selling myself out. When I called him, I was prepared to give him my plastic money number. I saved up my pennies until I was gonna buy them and then he graciously gave them to me. So I was actually able to spend them pennies on something else for us. Um, that'll be coming up. But anyway, I digress. First thing I noticed on all three of the cylinders, but especially this Meteor, I don't know. It's so hard on video. I've got a, I've got a picture or two. Um, the plating on those and the crosshatch and the finish in them cylinders is just so much better than what I'm used to seeing. I've never seen a brand new OEM cylinder. That's not the kind of saw work I do. I don't have brand new steel, Husqvarna, whatever cylinders. I've got this old Hassenpfeffer Holtzforma G366, which is a clone of an MS361. Um, and I'm used to $20, $30 cylinders like you'd get from Farmer Tech or some other name that's not even that well known off Amazon is usually what I get, right? Uh, and they take a lot of work just to get them to stock most time in my experience. The quality of these cylinders, they impress me. They're, they're finished, they're, they're, uh, they're finished nice. They're chamfered nice. Uh, now this one here still had a little bit of a rough casting in it inside the transfers. Uh, not enough to hurt, just, just kind of bubbly. Um, I think old uh, Donnie Walker calls them grapes or something like that. It's not quite that bad, but there's a little bit if I'm going to be nitpicky, and I am going to be nitpicky. Uh, I always try to find something, something wrong with everything. I guess that's just my mentality, but also try to offer a fix. I think with about a, one of those long burr mills or a 90 degree hand piece, you could do just a little bit of tweaking on them before you put them together and and maybe get a little bit more uh, out of them. The intake and the exhaust are finished nice. Uh, transfers look good. And the combustion chamber looks nice. Uh, the threads are nice here. I've got them aftermarket cylinders where it looks like they threaded them with a hatchet and a, and a railroad spike used for a chisel. Uh, these here are good. And the piston feels quality. Uh, but anyhow, let me show you the timing numbers on this cylinder and we'll compare that to the stuff we've done previous to this. Okay, so let's test this meteor cylinder. Now, we've got all our uh, squish measurements and all our piston weights and all that from the OEM, Farmer Tech, Highway, and Meteor. You guys can stop this anywhere you want and write it down and uh, this will be shown. I'm, uh, but we'll start going down through there and maybe bouncing it against OEM or something. The Meteor piston that's put together out of the box only had 14,000 squish, and that's with a base gasket. Uh, squish is pretty tight, isn't it? Uh, 104 degrees on OEM, 106 degrees on the uh, exhaust. Uh, raise the squish up, and it'll probably be back down to 104. Uh, if you just put a thicker base gasket or something in it, um, or take the top of the piston down a little bit. Transfers, uh, it's got a little bit longer transfers, 134 
on the primaries, 131 on the secondaries, which is just backwards of which one fires first, right? Um, the intake 67 degrees, so that's kind of right in there with the highway. A little bit less than OEM. Uh, blow down 26 degrees, 28 degrees. Uh, now that separation, of course, is... Uh, that's going to remain the same even if you was to take that cylinder down. That's separation between exhaust and blowdown. So the blowdown, it had two more degrees of blowdown. Uh, what kind of surprised me, and I'll get down to this in a minute, um, man, it smoked that meteor cylinder straight out of the box. It smoked that uh, Farmer Tech. It smoked the highway. Um, and, it, and it's higher than what uh, factory... It's a lot higher than what factory... Uh, claims to have and we'll get to the dyno charts on that here in a minute uh the torque 3.39 foot pounds of torque that's a pretty good torque increase isn't it uh we don't know what factory is uh i don't i don't know that off the top of my head um but here's the here's another reason it surprised me uh the farmer tech which is our kind of our baseline cylinder uh it had 152 psi compression and i think this has a lot harder ring and a lot it's, it's going to take longer to seed in, I think. Uh, it's just got, like I say, one tank through it idling and right on the dyno. And we're up to 120 pounds. Uh, I think that's only going to come up and, and uh, spread these numbers out even farther. So we'll play with those as time goes on. Um, here's a couple neat, neat, uh, here's a couple neat things, though. Uh, like the Farmer Tech cylinder overall length, 1.600 inches. The highway is 1.6 one one inches it's a little overall length uh more and the overall length on the meteors uh 1.614 and you think well what's that matter well it, if you combine that with a piston pin to the top of the cylinder uh like the highway that's going to tell you that's eleven thousandths longer but it's less on the uh pin to the top of the cylinder so where's that leave it that means you got a longer skirt so if you used to over intake a cylinder you might be able to put you a highway cylinder in there it's going to have a little bit longer skirt you might be able to get some of your intake timing back without having to epoxy it right now conversely this one's 12 thousandths over uh like the highway cylinder, eight thousandths over the farmer tech cylinder from the piston pin to the top. So actually this meteor cylinder, if you wanted to choose it, it would give you eight thousandths less squish than a farmer tech and twelve thousandths less squish than a highway. So if you wanted to run, let's say you had thirty thousand squish, uh, well that's not enough. Let's say you had thirty five thousand squish. Uh, 32, let's, yeah, let's say you had the Farmer Tech at 37,000 squish. You could put this taller piston in there and take 12 thousandths off of that, right? You'd be down around 25,000 squish just by going with a Meteor piston. Now, the piston pin, rings, uh, circlips, everything it takes, everything on that reciprocating mass except for the rod, uh, meteor pistons a little heavier, 90.23 grams, uh, about four grams heavier. Uh, but what I did notice is there's a lot of material can be taken out of that if you're not afraid to work on a piston. And that's one of the first things I choose to work on is a piston. Uh, I get rid of some weight. I open up the windows. I do this, I do that. That meteor piston is just built beefier. Uh, if you don't mind doing the weight, if you don't mind doing the work, uh, boy, that thing has some, uh, awesome potential. Uh, if you do mind doing the work, you're probably not doing the work anywhere else, and I don't think that extra weight will hurt you. So I think you're, I think you're good to go either way. Uh, now that piston was heavier by not by oh let's call it three grams, right? Just for just for argument's sake. But the piston pin was lighter by we'll call that three grams too. So actually, that piston's about six grams heavier. So if you uh, wanted to buy a meteor piston just for that lighter wrist pin and run, let's say, a highway cylinder and a meteor wrist pin, um, you're, you're starting to take some weight down, You'd, uh, and that's before you even work on it. Uh, but but there, there's the timing number so far. You guys can freeze frame that, write them down. 
we're going to be adding to them as time goes on. Okay, so the timing numbers was was uh, kind of right in there, wasn't they? Um, and of course, you can see I've already let the cat out of the bag on the horsepower, but we'll get you we'll get you a dyno run and the horsepower chart here, and you can see where those numbers lie in there uh, here in just a second. Um, but I thought I'd show you one other thing I forgot. The the top is piston, and I mentioned that transfers had a little bit of grapes in them. The uh, on this one here, the transfer the burn pattern, I get wash, wash pattern. The wash pattern on the PTO side doesn't come across near as far as it does on the clutch side. So I've got I've got the clutch side uh, I've got the clutch side transfers feeding heavier than the PTO side. So I think we even that up and we'll gain some horsepower too. Like I say, I'm not trying to be nitpicky. This is this is like having a brand new Cadillac and saying, well, the seat ain't adjusted right, right? You're just trying to find something wrong with it. And I, and I am, I, I'm, I'm trying to be very critical of these, uh, maybe more so than I should, because they're still head and shoulders above anything I was buying off the internet, uh, off of eBay or Amazon. And I'm not, there's a place for those. I use those cylinders. If I'm gonna just tear something down Sometimes I'll tear us all down two or three times on a tank of fuel. This one here, I've actually tore down, oh, the not very much, but I've already had to put helicoils in the daggum case of it because cylinder bolt stripped right out. And I, and I do that by hand. Uh, so anyway, I, I, I'm being critical, but that's what we need to do. Um, I'm not gonna send you guys down the river uh, just because Ryan graciously done this stuff for me, I'm not going to lie for him, and he don't expect me to either. Um, he likes my honesty. That's that's why he gives me stuff, uh, or gave me stuff this one time. Awesome, appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, let's get off the dyno and see where we're at. Ruth, meteor cylinder. Okay, so we got our Farmer Tech cylinder, which is old Ruth, and it's had multiple tanks through it, so it's it's doing a little bit better than we'll we'll figure a, a new cylinder. But that Meteor cylinder, it impressed me pretty good. Uh, we went from 4.61 horsepower on the multiple tanks, uh, what 152 static compression, and only 120 was it on this one here. Um, but we still gained uh, six tenths of a horsepower. That's a pretty good increase. Uh, 3.18 foot pounds of torque on the Farmer Tech, and we're up to 3.39, which is a third of a right at a third. 0 .3, 0 0.31 foot pounds of torque we gained, and we gained it all across the board. It didn't lose anywhere. It didn't give up anything anywhere. Um, if I'd stretch this out to 13,000, it actually. Uh, it actually stretched out just a little bit farther. You can see, you can always see my little divots right here where it's uh, like four stroking and cackling a little bit. Uh, so I'm impressed with that meteor cylinder so far, and I think it's only going to get better. I think that's a good product that I think a guy can really wring some extra horsepower out of it. So Time will tell. We'll do a little bit more work to these as we go. Um, but there's where we're at so far. Now, I don't know about you, but I was I was surprised and impressed with this with this, uh, with this piston and cylinder kit. And I think, I really do, that we're going to have 
we're going to have a pretty substantial increase in static compression. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, we're going to have a pretty substantial increase in static compression as this all, uh, as these rings break in. Uh, the rings are just such higher, higher quality that I'm. These rings are just such higher quality than what I'm used to. I, I usually run them old, uh, um, them black. They got an HY on them, them old cast rings by the softest cottage cheese, right? Well, they'll break in, in a, pretty good in a half tank. Uh, these got sent better rings. He sent me caber rings, but I'm not using those yet because I know them will take 10, 15 tanks to break in. This has one tank of fuel through it idling, and that's it. Uh, so guys, if you enjoyed it, uh, if you enjoy this kind of thing, I do that YouTube stuff that helps my channel if you want to see my channel grow. Um, appreciate it, guys.